Okay, so for this video, what it's asking us to do is it wants us to, first of all, find the x-axis, or I'm sorry, not the x-axis, the axis of symmetry, the vertex, determine if that's a max or a min, determine the domain range, and graph the function, correct? All right, so the first thing I always like to do, ladies and gentlemen, is remember that all functions can be written in the form of f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, in this graph, I don't have three terms. I only have two. So to write it in a quadratic form, I can write it as 0x minus 5. All right. So therefore, my b is going to be 0. All quadratics can be written in this format. So the first thing I want to do, ladies and gentlemen, is find the axis of symmetry. So the axis of symmetry, remember, is the vertical line that is symmetrical of our parabola. The axis of symmetry is opposite of b divided by 2a, which in this case is the opposite of 0 divided by 2 times 1, which equals 0. So therefore, if the axis of symmetry is equal to 0, then I also know that my vertex, because remember, the axis of symmetry goes through the vertex. Therefore, my, my vertex has an x value of 0. So let's go ahead and plot what this graph is going to start to look like. So I have an axis of symmetry at 0. Part of my vertex is 0, but I don't know what the y-coordinate is. We'll figure that out in a second. So before we even do that, let's determine, does our a, is it going to open up or is it open down? Is my vertex a maximum or a minimum? So we look at our a, and our a in this value is 1. And since a is greater than 0, so we have 1 is greater than 0, that means we're going to have a minimum value. So our vertex is going to be a minimum value. That means my graph is going to open up. I don't know what it's going to look like right now, but I know it's going to open up. I don't know what my vertex is. So all I know is it opens up, and it's going to go down to a minimum point. Now, let's go and take a look at um, how do I find out what the right, oh, it didn't ask for the y-intercept, right, or the y-coordinate. So remember, the y-intercept is when what equals 0, x or f of x? What has to equal 0 for the y, for the x equals 0? Remember, y-intercept is where it crosses this value. So that means your x value has to be 0. So that means we want x equals 0. So right now, for my, to find my graph, I'm going to make an xy table. xy. Now, a couple points I want to figure out. I want to know what 0 is. That's the x-intercept. And also, the, that's the x-intercept, and that's also the what? That's also the vertex, right? Do you guys notice that? When x equals 0, I have my vertex, but that's also my y-intercept. So that's kind of cool. I know that it's going to cross there. Then, remember, we always pick, since I know my axis symmetry, we always pick two points to the left and two points to the right. So let's just pick negative 1, negative 2, 1, and 2. Now, how do you determine what those points are? You plug them in. So f of negative 2 equals negative 2 squared minus 5. Negative 2 squared is 4. 4 minus 5 is? negative 1. f of negative 1 equals negative 1 squared minus 5. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. 1 minus 5 is negative 4. So let's go and plot those two points. So at, oh, at 0, I forgot I should definitely do 0 because that's my vertex. So we have 0 squared minus 5, which is at negative 5, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So at 0, I have negative 5. At negative 1, I have negative 4. At negative 2, I have negative 1. Now remember, that probably goes like that. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this, you, this is reflective about your axis of symmetry. So therefore, I can kind of mirror all these points on the other side of the axis of symmetry showing you my graph is going to look something like that, where my vertex is my minimum point, which we already discussed. It's also my y-intercept. 
and it's at the x value of 0, comma, negative 5, which is the minimum point of my parabola. Any questions? Yes? So your y is 0? Your y-intercept your y is when x equals 0. Graph the point. Negative five is zero. Three x plus five. What's the y intercept for this? Put zero in for x. That graph crosses at five. That's it. Put zero in for x. That's what I mean by when I say the x intercept, or I'm saying when I say the y intercept, put zero in for x. So we put zero in for x, and what do we get? Negative five. Yeah. It just happened it was the same as the vertex. That's not always the case.